I'ma stay all dripping, dripping, hey, dripping, hey, dripping off me. Diamonds, day, diamonds. Hey brothers, hey young kings, okay? Hey guys, my brothers, okay? My niggas, whatever you want to call yourself. I don't care, shit, as long as you hear me, I don't care. I want to tell you that, you know, I want to tell you if you don't know, you know, you should know, especially in our ethnic community, you know, black community and shit. I want to tell you one of the biggest, and I do mean the biggest motherfucking Red flags, okay. One of the biggest red flags, you know, that you can you can see. All right, one of the biggest red flags in our ethnic community is, uh, you know, a bunch of women kicking it together in these like groups and whatnot. These big like kind of gangs or these covens, whatever you want to call them and shit. Okay, one of the biggest red flags in our ethnic community is these goddamn women. When you see these women like hanging out. Like deep and shit, and they going out partying together, and they, ain't, you know, you don't see any guys mixed in there or nothing. You just see them like, you know, fucking around, dancing with each other, or grouping up at tables, and they shoot, you know, angry looks around, and you know, all this bullshit. They over there, you know, they in their own little bubble, and you see this shit a lot. Go look around and shit. Go look around on social media or anywhere else. Probably in your own fucking family and shit. You see these goddamn women and shit. You know, in, in like big groups and whatnot. You know, some people say like, oh, it's just successful women kicking it together and doing this, that, and the other. Okay, guys do it and shit. We do that kind of shit and they always say we up to no good or we're, we're plotting and shit, you know, because we're part of supposed patriarchy, which that is a goddamn lie since the first time it left in these bitches' lips. All right, this is a red flag, okay? All right, you know why it's a fucking red flag? It's because... Uh, there's at least one woman and one or two women in there that's spreading some negative shit around. Okay, just flicking shit. There's one at least one impressionable woman in there that's in a re long term relationship or a marriage that's gonna have that shit ruined the shit by uh, congregating with these motherfuckers and shit. Okay, I would be cognizant of anybody you're dealing with. You know, being in one of these groups, deep groups and shit. You know, I don't give a fuck if she tell you. Uh, they were, oh, we was in the sorority together or some other shit. We was doing some kind of group and shit. Like, if they're doing it on a regular and extensively, you're probably in trouble, okay? You, you know, it's probably not going to end well, okay? I want to be honest, okay? We never, you never really talk about this, but you always see, like, if you look at social media, you see women flicking shit all the time, just flicking shit, you know? Flicking it, you know, borderline clan meetings and shit on there, and a lot of what they have in common is you, they'll posit, you'll go look at their social media page and you'll just see like uh, intermittent videos of them like, uh, you know, hanging out, you know, with other like minded women, you know, going, doing vacations, probably going to Jamaica and getting that limestone uh, massage, you know, if you get my drift, you know, using the services of a yardie because they can't be bothered to pair bond with another human being and shit, okay? Another human being, and a lot of them are covertly a part of that Skittles community, and they're out to uh, make more of themselves, okay? I don't feel, you know, no kind of way about saying that. It's just goddamn true as shit. You know, I was raised in uh, uh, what became, it started out as a nuclear family and became a, a matriarchal uh, family, a gyne gynocratic uh, construct, okay? That was detrimental to everybody involved, male and female and shit, fell into disrepair and ruin unretrievable ruin and shit. Oh, man. Yeah, this is one of the biggest red flags that you can, that, that you should, you know, that you can see in our ethnic community. Like, all this bullshit, like, all these bitches hanging out with each other. It just, you know, it's just weird. You know, and then just, like, I would tell you give the litmus test to anybody you know, any female you know that's in this group, and ask them about it. And they'll be real, like, defensive. If you ask her about you know, hanging out in those big ass groups of women and shit and going out, going places and doing shit on the regular. And you ask her, she get real fucking defensive and shit, then you know you got a problem. Okay? She should be able to explain that shit. Okay? And you say, hey, you know, hey, I, I would posit if you ask them if they're 9 they white, straight up. You know, they do that shit to us all the time and call us, you know, members of the alternative community and shit. I think that, you know, since we're uh, gaining ground. I think you should question these big ass groups of shit because they're always talking about how they're successful and blah 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 this and that and the other. You could look around and see the disrepair, you know, to to your environment that they built and they created.
that they're trying to, you know, burn the deed to, and we won't let them. We got the deed to the black community, to the ghetto. They don't have it. We don't have it because we made it and shit. We got it because we're the product and the legacy of their bad decisions. Okay, you know, if you're a, a dusty or a, a, a less than uh, acceptable, you know, you're you're a simp, you're a fucking nerd, you're a pookie, whatever. You was raised by someone, right? And who was the first teacher of the fucking child? Right? Who's the first teacher of the child? I want you to be cognizant of women hanging out in these, these big-ass groups and shit. You know, even in my own, uh, you know, personal life, I've asked certain, you know, women in the family about this. And they never have an answer. And they get super defensive. And I'm like, look, if you're a part of the alternative community, it's okay. Okay? You can come out. You can come out. It's okay. All right? No, no, no duh. Nobody cares. Okay? I don't give a fuck about that. Like, I care more about my people than your fucking, how you self-identify and shit. That is not important to me. That's important to you. All right? I care about my people. I want people to get back on get back on the right track and shit because we're cannon fodder and food for the minority majority and they're uh, you know they're flying monkeys okay put it that way and shit you know so I'm not here to fucking play with no with no sh shitty ass black women that have this misandrous mind view okay worldview excuse me I'm not here to play with you and a lot of guys aren't here to play with you. Guys are a conflict avoidant. That's why you have the passport brothers. That's why you have the save yourself black man, uh, you know, deal. Okay. That's why you have that supposed man of spirit shit because most of the time guys are conflict avoidant, but we didn't have the tools to communicate and talk to one another. And we do. And you're not putting the genie back in a bottle. So you just better deal with it. Like we've been dealing with your fucking shit for over four decades. Your bullshit, which has ruined, ruined our ethnic community. And destroy any, you know, uh, viability in the political arena at this point, okay? Everything you do is a problem, okay? You know, your self-interest, your selfishness, your misandry, your misappropriation of, of assets across generations, and your miseducation of your own fucking children has led us to the brink, okay? You're not a part of the solution, you're the problem. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.